So he was there from the very beginning, literally when we'd got up to get ready. And then um, throughout the day, he was just always here, there and everywhere. And we got up first thing in the morning and um, poor Andy when he walked in the room, I don't think he knew what had hit him because there was just <laughs> knickers, bras, clothes everywhere. We, we had a really good laugh and I mean us girls getting ready, it sort of felt like your photographer's there as part of you all getting ready. I try and do things quickly, I try and keep the energy level high uh, and I communicate and without that communication I think that it would really be a struggle. It would also be difficult for my clients uh, if the connection isn't there. I think that the, the photographs just wouldn't reflect their special day. Um, I attempt to tell a story and when my clients see that story they understand what it was that I was talking about when we originally met. Once we've agreed upon that, I'm able to give them a document which they know I will then follow to the minute so that they're on time for all of the steps of the special day. And yeah, just kept the day moving really well. I think we didn't, didn't have to think of anything. It was all just done for us. And... It's like he was sort of your wedding planner as well as your yeah. photographer because he was keeping us to time and... We knew where we were each stage of the day. And, so. No, I really, really did yeah. enjoy it. I mean, when I'm photographing a, a, the actual wedding ceremony and I'm watching the expressions between the bride and the groom and often it's a cheeky glance to the side, sometimes it's a, a, a deep, longing look as they realise what they're doing. And, and that's just a, a, a great thing to, to know that you've captured that. Um, if I don't have the wedding party on my side, it makes my job much more difficult. Um, certainly when it comes to the group shots, what my approach is, is to actually talk to everybody first. When I'm organising the group shots, I can actually ask for people by name. And people are you know, expecting to hear their names rather than a title. So in that way, again, I'm able to do the group shots more efficiently, be more personable, keep the energy level high, and everybody has a good time. But, and that was another good thing as well, we noticed that um, when we was having our shots done, especially the ones where you was on your own, you didn't feel like there was a photographer there right on top of you in your face, because they'd back off a bit and give you your own space, but still get them shots that, you know, mean a lot to you. Now the penny drop session is after the group shots, and it's at this point where myself and the bride and groom will go for a wander. And I call it the penny drop because this is literally where the penny will drop for the bride and groom that wow, we've just married each other, you know, and it's such a, a magical time for me. And very few people get to witness this, but it's when that quietness kind of happens when we go for a walk. And I, I don't ask for, for anything more than for my clients to be together. Just spend some time together, you know, enjoy each other's company. You're man and wife now, put, put them together. And I just back away and observe. And, and, you know, I get that feeling inside when I'm framing the photographs that something very, very special is happening. Yeah, oh, all yeah. The, speeches, the speech shots yeah. are really good. They're yeah. really... They're some of my favourite ones, I must admit. The effects of them are yeah. brilliant because you've got, like, the people doing the speeches and you've got the reactions, which are... There's about 12 pictures of me just laughing because I just didn't stop laughing through the speeches. It's how the faces change, isn't it? As, yeah. And how my, how two, mum and dad's and and my two best men as well, I, must, I, was, I kept watching them because they were so nervous and just seeing them from start to finish in the speech in the shots we've got the speeches it's like they do it just captures it, so it, it captures it really well easier yeah. and easier and then they're yeah. real chilled out after they've done the speech so and again if we could have if we could have unlimited pictures in the album it, you, you would do wouldn't you because there's some yeah some really good ones that we're just gonna have to choose it's going to be hard <laughs> but it was brilliant the fact that like so, it was there the full day, and then like it gets to like the night time, and a few guests were saying, "Oh, your photographer's still here," and it was like, "Oh yeah, you know, it stays till." I mean, it, I can't remember exactly what time to be honest, but it was around nine-ish, and it was mm. just like he was there for the first dance and things like that, where a lot of photographers have gone home by then, and that's I really like that because then that's another, you know, special moment. The main one, obviously, when you're getting married, but you first dance together as husband and wife, you want that capturing. So that was really nice. It was. It was really. And it makes it magical when you look, actually look back and you watch a slideshow with the music. It makes it more special because it's like watching a video of your day, the story of your day. And um, you do, you remember all them just silly moments, getting ready and getting your hair done and 
times when you think, oh, I remember that, you know. It is, it's, it's lovely. Mm. It's really nice, isn't it? No. Oh, yeah. And for me to see, you know, still images uh, which have these beautiful fades in and out, it's a really, really magical thing because I think it gives the viewer or the bride and groom an opportunity to linger on an image that stays on the screen for four to five seconds, you know, and it really takes them on a journey. It just, just to be able to see it on a on a DVD as well, to sit it there. Makes it gives it almost yeah. like a video. Yeah, it, really it is. Does. Well, yeah, it, it is, just, basically, isn't it? It yeah. is amazing. And like I say, friends and family, they've been on the website, they've seen the pictures, and everybody's just like, oh, we're going to get pictures. We've got a list buy, ready, so I think, yeah. People are just, they love them, they really do. I say I'd like to deliver you the story of your special day. So from that 1,500 images, I'll then start to edit whilst the couple are away on honeymoon. And bring that down to between 300 and 350 images. Once we've viewed the movie, uh, approximately 10 to 14 days later, the couple will receive a proof book which will have um, all 300 to 350 images in the proof book. And that's a hardback A4 bound annual. Inside there are nine images to a page. Each, each image is referenced. It's at that point that once they've received the proof book that I'll go back and talk to them about how to think about selecting images to create their storybook and what we do is, is, is put together an album with a minimum of 55 images which are the essence of the special day. We've moved on uh, immensely from the traditional slip-in photograph in an oval cut mount and you know this is what's really exciting about digital technology and digital approaches. The graphic designer that, that, that does my layout designs for me is so talented, he'll send me a layout back that, that knocks my socks off. Uh, very very simple, key lines um, on a black background, uh, multiple images on a page sometimes. It's just absolutely perfect for the style of photography. I usually show my clients about 25% of the images in black and white and the way that they incorporate the black and white imagery with the colour imagery really suits the style. It's a clean style, it's very very modern and it really has that wow factor. Yeah, wherever possible I always hand deliver the album because again I like to see the reaction on, on my clients' faces when they see the, the, the presentation of, of their story in the book form for the first time. But yeah, I'm really excited. I can't wait to... It's not just the book, is it? The, it's, what we, it. it's what we want to get to put up on the wall as well. And yeah, we'll pictures few, for the There's walls, a few like yeah. that that we want. We've left a nice big space. We've got so spaces not just on the have, wall Not just have your album, but to look at picking <laughs> something to just put up on, on the wall as well as a... As a nice key. Because again, so. that's like each time you walk in the room, you look at the yeah. picture and think back to the day and that moment in the day. So it will, it'll be special for memories, won't it, to look back mm, on? It will be.